Hi, Lucy. Hi, Trini. How are you? I'm really good, darling. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What are we doing today? Today we're doing upping the ante. It's like casual dressing and how do you just tweak it? Everyday things we might wear and how do you lift them up to another level? Oh, this is me, totally. All right, darling. So I'm already in my first option. And this is your classic, which I use a lot, a white t-shirt and a floppy pair of trousers. We all have this for a sweatpant or a pajama. The t-shirt might be a couple of days old occasionally. You know, it's like everything has relaxed. There are moments when we might take a glance and say, what happened? Where did I lose myself in that journey? Absolutely. Yeah. So before yes. we get on that track, what was your mission last week? To wear blue. All right, shall we see what you're doing? Blue with blue. Yep. I've got these trousers from um, Zara, which you've got as well. I love them. I saw this. them on you. Yep. I have to say, I've got them. I bought them straight away. Um, a little white sandal with yep. like a hot graphic wedge. And then this blue shirt. I think the colours go better here than they do on screen, but I think they go. I think they go well because they're both quite cool blues, Lucy. Yeah. So you, you've kept the family right. Thank you. Good, good show. Now, um, I'm going to start with a similar pair of floppy trousers from Zara. T-shirt, I think, is Zara. I'm going to show you two things I did to it that really changed it. Okay? Okay. So. Go, go, go. So. Whoa. What I've done is I put on a heel, okay, which is my wedge. It's just yep. given the trousers a longer amount of space to flow. I put on a top I just bought in... Uh, Selfridges this weekend from Sax Potter or Sax Potter, something like that. And the pièce de résistance are two things, and this is where it takes the tiniest thing to up the ante. And this might be quite mad, but I put on Dahlia because I'm loving the idea of purple. We will do. Lots of people have asked Lucy about lilac as a colour. Would we do it? Mm -hmm. And then I have that earring. Oh, fun! And I just thought, is that too much? But this is when you know. It's two little things in your handbag, a change of lip and an earring. This can scrumple up into nothing. But now I can go out and, you know, just, I feel elegant and chic and glamorous. And then yeah. I could go one step further, which is I've got a lilac jacket and I could put that on top. That's lovely. And it's really brought out the color in the trousers. All, all the colors go there, all that, the, the sort of shimmeriness, because that's a holographic -y top, um, goes with the earring, that, you know, it's, it's that sort of continual bit of color. Outfit number one. All right, darling, same again, a pair of tailored trousers. These are actually the me and M ones. I got them because they were a very neutral, they're like a sort of dirty pink and white t-shirt. I did wonder which way I'd go with this, but I think I'm just gonna go classic route. You know, you could have a t-shirt that's like that, but if you have this kind of trouser, Lucy, sometimes you can feel bottom heavy or hippie, okay? Yeah. And this is a little bit about that too. It's how do you reproportion your body with upping the ante a bit? So now I'm ready to go out for drinks. Yes, you are. I so am, honey. I just need somebody to go with. So what I've done is I've, I've taken the basis of the color. These tops are one of the best things that Zara do because you know, they do some fabrics right now that are so cheap and shitty. They do sizing, which drives us insane. But they have done for the last year tops with this amazing volume. And what that volume tells me is it's making something much smarter. And for like 29 quid or 39 quid, it gives you something that feels designery. Yeah. And I love the colour. I love the just, it's a little bit short. I wear it also with high-waisted jean, but I'm just showing you now. Um, and then earrings are key in this too. I have a whole selection of earrings and they come from J. Crew, Zara, H&M. But you know, my earrings are never more than about 40 quid. And the trick for me with an earring is it should be very light because I always end up taking earrings off halfway through because they're so heavy. Oh my God, Trini, I bought these earrings from Zara the other day. They're so heavy. And earrings should frame your face. They should bring out your eyes. They act as an extension of your makeup. So I've gone a little yes. bit darker on the lip. I've done a little bit of Freddy because I didn't want to be too girly pinky. And I wanted to look at that little dark bit in the earring and bring it in. Now you sort of, my whole body has changed shape. So you think I have very broad shoulders. So my waist looks smaller and my hips, I don't have big hips at all, but proportionally I'm really in proportion. And by having a very nude shoe, Lucy, and not a shoe which is white, it doesn't draw the attention right down to the 
um, leg, it gives an elongation to the leg. Uh, oui. You look straight, elongated. Next. I mean, we've done it on this show before, Lucy. Let's talk about pyjama bottoms, shall we? Are they pyjamas? They're pyjamas. They're by, because I haven't worn them yet. They're by Debra. Lila stole the top. That's why I'm not wearing it. She's currently in Turkey wearing my lovely pyjama top over a bikini. She even sent me a picture today. But many of us have pyjamas, but some of us have nice silky pyjamas and these ones have a pocket. So how do I make them not pyjamas? So the simplest solution is to find a lovely top in a simple colour that's matching. This is Zara. Um, they did them this summer. And then I might put a necklace on just to kind of give that feeling. Because I'm wearing a necklace, I always think about drawstring and I always associate drawstring with pyjamas. So if I know it won't change the pyjama, this one will, so I won't cut it off, but I'll tuck it in. Yeah. And if it's thin enough, it won't look like you have a willy. And that to me is just, that's an incredibly simple little trick. And then you could just do things like throw on top of it a denim shirt if you want to do. I haven't got one here, but let's say I want to slightly winterize it. I might take a little denim jacket. This is from Cos last winter and I might just do that. Easy. So easy. Would you say to me, Trini, what are you doing in your pajamas? Absolutely not. Okay. So keeping colour, similar, a little necklace up the ante and tucking in the kind of revealing it's a pyjama drawstring moment. Trini, I'm just noticing that fabulous array of trainers behind you. Yes. And I'm thinking it's so often that we tell people to wear it with a pair of white trainers or a pair of trainers. What's the difference between the trainers you're wearing and like just normal trainers? Like what makes it look a bit more chic? Oh, okay, I would say it's about not having a lace. I think okay. a normal trainer trainer, like uh, to me, there's three different types of trainer. There's a trainer you work out in, which is lots yeah. of different colours. And I don't, for me, I think if you're a 20 year old girl in Shoreditch, it can look amazing with a floral dress, but that's not me. Then you have the trainer, like a white trainer, still with a lace. Um, then you have some, a trainer like that, which I love. This is from Air and Grace. It's one of our elevator pitch ladies. The most comfortable bloody trainers. I've just got them, that's why I haven't worn them. And I could do that look with it because the laces are there, but it's a platform and it has a little extra silver. And they make right. the most, if you have problems with your feet, Air and Grace, let me give them a plug because they were so sweet. They've been going a while, they're online only, small female founder brand. Um, so is it about the sort of chunkiness? It's about, I don't want a lace, that's the thing. Yeah. Okay. And if they were in the winter, you'll notice there's more trainers there because I went back to Russell and Bromley and I bought some more colours. <laughs> so, come winter, Lucy, I might go to my, let me slip it on for you, my blue suede shoes. Let me now do with a navy blazer, like that. And then I've got the navy at the bottom. Cool. Okay, great. Um, so that could winterise it too. And it's yeah. about not wearing a heel because a heel with these kind of things makes it look old fashioned generally. So even if you're petite and you know, on the lots of questions we have on the show, Lucy, is people say, oh, but I'm five foot one, how would I do that? And on the Takeover show, which you can find on YouTube, we've done three series. And in the last series, especially, and the one before that, we did four women who were under five foot one. One was 4'11", one was five foot, and two were five foot one. And it's just still keeping the same proportions. So, you know, if I say something when you're doing layering should end here and at the knee and at the ankle, still do that. It's about investing in a needle and thread. If you try on a trouser, it fits you everywhere perfectly, it's too long, take it up at your local dry cleaners for a tenner. Yeah. You know, um, and then you can just do exactly the same things. I don't believe that petite should dress one way and tall people another. I think it's just yes. getting your clothes in the proportion for your body. The khaki brigade will be happy with this. This is like when you're wearing a sports luxe jogger stroke trouser. These are the me and M ones. In khaki, ladies. I got them last year. Did you did you just drop your glass of wine, Lucy? No, the stacks because you said khaki. I was so shocked that you were in khaki that the stacks fell down. So this is like let's wear a happy emblem t-shirt and a sort of sweatpant because I want you to know how happy I am, you know. We wear emblem t-shirts because we want people to think we're cool like Bowie or we like Mr. Men or whatever. We've all been there. Have you been there? You look like me. Okay. There's a couple of things we could do here. One is we could make it sexier and we could put on a high heel. It's getting a bit 90, 90s now. Yeah, I'm doing a bit of a 90s. 
I'm gonna tuck it in like that and I'm gonna put on a jacket. So I've got my emblem, but over my emblem, I have some quite cool tailoring. You know, when you have these kind of trousers where it's gathered at the ankle, that's when it can be quite cool to do a high heel. Yeah. So, you know, when I go out with girlfriends for an evening out, yes, would I keep the jacket on? Probably I would. This is a really old H&M. H&M. Yeah. Uh, T-shirt old Zara. What makes it work for me is that there's that sort of nod to khaki, but it's a beautiful evening variation because there's some shimmer in it. Um, there's a nod to the yellow, even though they're two different yellows from far away, you feel there's a yellowness in that. And you'll give it that drawstring. Because I want to emulate the concept of sport lux, and because these trousers already look like a trouser and not a pajama, I like my little dangly bits. Okay. You keep them there then. I'm gonna keep them there then, honey. Okay, but then I might want to winterize and dayerize this look. So I might do that. Oh, nice. Which is a little ankle boot. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Zara khaki jumper, exactly the same actually as this. There's a little bit of gold here with a little bit of gold there. I might then do a bit of a stronger lip, you know? That Dahlia? Yeah. And then, you know, I'm going out for dinner. Oh, I can go to our leather friend. Uh, yeah. That's so cool. Top, top. And also, look, green inside. Uh, hey, let me show you. So that, I, I really like that. And that's very ageless dressing, you know. This is a lot, Lucy, about mixing fabrication. So I've got the satin and the silk of the trouser with the kind of, you know, pleather of this and, and something that could look like cashmere but cost 19.99 with suede. So it's a yeah. whole combination of those fabrications. And that's nice. also for our Southern Hemisphere, Melbourne and New Zealand and those people who are living in colder climates right now. Okay, this is um, really, really, really old Topshop blue t-shirt. And these are from C'est La Vie, which is a lovely Milanese brand that does the most gorgeous flared trousers. They're a little bit long, and when you have very wide trousers and they break, you don't let them do the full flow. You'll just look squat. The amount of women I see do that with a t-shirt to hide their tummy. And all it does is it makes you a brick. And if you've got wide leg trousers with that, you lose any sense of shape and every woman has a shape, whatever her size. What I want to do is just switch it up. So. Oh, I love it. They're high-waisted trousers, so they deserve the flow. So I've done a long shoe from my Rebel Clergy shop up in the sale. And what I've done, which I have not done for about 15 years, is I've put a belt on the trousers because they end exactly at my waist. And I like the idea, even though this belt is a thick belt, so it's not going to give me a waist, the exaggeration of the shoulders means that I haven't lost my waist. And the key here is that it's all one colour. So it, that in itself makes it smarter, Lucy. It looks great, Trini. I know, I might wear this for that. dinner. It's fab. You know I love that belt anyway. But I that's... know. This belt I got in Gucci, but I got it at Bista Village and I got it for £90. Oh, yes! But I'll have it till I'm 100. I will be buried in it and Lila will steal it from me before then. That's going to be the history of this belt. Is it because the, the trousers have that, you know, 70s yeah. vibe to it? They go perfectly with a the belt. They so do. And, and I don't do that enough with a high-waisted trouser. And it just brings, it makes it an outfit from just two pieces. Yeah. yeah. And without the belt, it would look... Well, I'll show you without the belt. Thing. Yeah. You know? It just brought it all together. Okay, I'll do a last look for you. This Lucy is just a classic and it's cashmere jumper, merino yeah. jumper jumper with a pair of blue slacks. Let's call them slacks, all right? They're actually cos and um, cos actually, funnily enough. And then I've got on the new Ross and Bromleys. To me, it's, it feels really chic and I don't really need to do anything to it. But I want to show the idea of layering to up the ante, okay? So this is probably a look I would wear in the summer when it's a bit chilly, you know, because they're very summer weight trouser. Okay, and now I'm gonna go out for dinner. Oh, very nice. I found this in Alexander Wang 
a few years ago. I love the fact it's got a sexy side booby moment. I like the fact that it's layering, but because, I mean, it's very specific this, but you can find them. Tops where there's a slight block. You see what I mean? So from behind, it looks like my waist is starting up here because this is more sheer. Yeah. So it works really well to not make like my legs look shorter. The fact that the front bit is open a bit, but the fact that yeah. when I put the jacket on, you have that wonderful sense of the layering. And because the fabric isn't really thick, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that it would be like this and here's my arse ending. It gives that flow, that lovely flow to an outfit, which I adore. This is, I had a Stella McCartney jacket I was obsessed with and I had it in grey and black and I was in India and I took it with me and they copied it for 123 pounds. So, Lucy, that's it. That's some ideas. Just, and I've got a little lip on, I've got on Rossi. Mm -hmm. But you know, just, we can take most of the things I've mentioned, whether it's a pair of trainers, a pajama bottom, a pair of wide leg jeans, um, a pair of slacks. We have these in our wardrobe. We have t-shirts in our wardrobe. We have jackets in our wardrobe. It's just a little earring, a little lipstick, a little more tailoring. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Trini. You're so welcome, darling. It's been a I joy. Have a lovely evening out. I know, thank you very much. So next week, I was wondering, we could do six outfits 12 ways which we haven't done for a while. And what else was on the list? Because there were quite a few requests last week, weren't there? So- there Quite a few requests for green. Green, yes, green. I mean, I'm looking in the wardrobe, desperately thinking what would qualify as green? Because as you can see, blue-eyed girls don't often have a lot of green. So I feel I will put green on the agenda. How to wear neutral shades. We could do neutrals. Ooh, that's a challenge. There was a floral request. Floral. We could talk about floral, size of flowers according to body shape. That's a very interesting one to think about. And also what arms work for what arms. So that's, I've given you many choices, ladies. Run through the film again and you pick below which one. And if you feel any woman would benefit from this film, please tag her. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Bye.